from artists. In this day and age, there is so much going on with the economy, with wars, with all kinds of problems that people were all getting anxious. And neurologists say that even using a cell phone can make you very anxious because what it does, it creates more of the hormone dopamine which causes addictions and causes stress and anxiety. Whereas when we have the hormone serotonin, serotonin is the relaxing hormone. And that you get by meditation, looking at beautiful pho photographs and pictures and paintings. And this relaxes your whole nervous system. And that's a good hormone to have when we want more of serotonin and less of dopamine. So we're going to take you through a series of paintings on how to meditate with paintings. So don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back.
back. We're going to start today with Mary Cassette. She was an American artist in the 19th century, from Pennsylvania, actually. And she was the only artist to exhibit with the Impressionists in Paris. And she, she was very well known for pa her paintings of mothers and children. And one of the ones that I like so much is the one where she's sewing and there's a young child, perhaps six or seven or eight, leaning into her lap. Now this is a very warm painting. It gives you the feeling of protection and closeness and intimacy in a family setting. So this is one that's really a beautiful one to focus on. You could take out your cell phone and find it on your cell phone. And you can look at it and see how you feel. What feeling does it evoke? There's a feeling of, feeling of, of, of protection, of warmth, of closeness, family relationships, and uh, bringing you back to that time when life was more simple and you didn't have to worry about all the things that we're hearing on the news today. Let me lead you into this meditation. Look at the picture and look at it the point of view of the mother. You're doing some sewing. Your young child is leaning on your lap. It's very comfortable. You can feel the warmth of your child and you're getting some of your sewing done. You may be listening to music, or it may be quiet, but it's very relaxed, and you're focusing on something on your sewing, focusing, just getting deeper and deeper into what you're doing. Now, if you look at it from the point of view of the child, your wonderful memories of leaning on your mother's lap, being close, while she's doing the sewing and you're feeling very close and comfortable and very comforted by her, the intimacy of the situation. So just dwell on that for a moment, go back to that moment, close your eyes and imagine, imagine yourself back at that time when life was more simple and you felt the protection of your mother and see how that feels. And again, if you're the mother, think back about how it feels to have your child close to you. Think of the warmth of the child just leaning on you, like feeling good for no reason at all just comfort, right? Can you see her face? Can you see the smile? Can you see the trust? Can you see the closeness of this relationship and the love? Just feel the love and the caring. And meditate on that for a while. Get that in the feeling
very relaxed, <laughs> and I hope you are too. But, but there's another painting we can go to, Mary Cassette's. It's the mother holding her very young child, maybe a year old, and just focusing on this as the mother, feeling just the joy of having this child and the bonding, the very close bonding, and feeling the warmth of your child again, and how you're being so protective of your child and nurturing to your child. So dwell on that feeling as a mother. And this you can do whether you have children or not, because we all have imaginations and we're all very creative. And everything is about your imagination. And looking at the painting, you could be the mother to yourself, to nurture yourself, to go back to that time and feeling protected as a child, feeling the warmth of your mother, feeling the closeness and the bonding. And you know, when so much of relationships are torn apart today, we want to get back to bonding, intimacy, feeling together and feeling protected and feeling connected connected is really, really important. So when you're looking at this painting, remember that the energy of those feelings don't disappear, because energy doesn't disappear. So it's still with us. Those memories are with us. The energy is with us. And you can draw on that energy to help you relax and go deeper into your meditation and relieve any anxiety that you may have. Your soul is like a child and you need to nurture your soul. Cradle your soul, sing to your soul, let the vibrations ring throughout your body just as the crystal bowl has the vibrations emanating it can emanate into your body, vertebrae by vertebrae, up your spine, and into your brain, where uh, what is important is the vibrations in your brain, called brain humming, which will help with any neurology. So, I'm going to bring in more vibrations, and meditate, and feel the vibrations.
Welcome back. several paintings of being in boats with her children and with swans. And they were very relaxing to be on the water. Water is always relaxing. So you want to look at the water, feel the water flowing, just feel the rocking of the boat peacefulness, the colors in the water, the swans just floating on the water, living their life, not worrying about anything, very, very peaceful, your child with you, wondering what the swans are thinking, asking you questions about swans, what they do, where do they go, and you can see families of swans. It's all about peace, peacefulness and relationships and nature and connecting with nature. Floating down the river. Floating down the river. Not a care in the world, fresh air, blue skies, billowing clouds, and the water reflecting the sky. It's about reflections, and it's about you reflecting also, reflecting to a peaceful time. Sink deeper into a meditation about peacefulness and quiet and untroubled waters. And go into that meditation, feeling quiet, feeling relaxed. Feeling happy for no reason at all. Deeper and deeper into a meditation about peace. A peaceful time, a quiet time. Rock, feel the rocking of the boat. Feel your closeness to nature, your relationship to nature, feeling as one with nature. Feeling the boat that you're in being supported by the water. Feel supported. Feel peaceful. Go deeper and deeper into the meditation of feeling supported and peaceful. Connecting with the swans. Feeling at one with the swans, with the water, with the blue sky and the billowing clouds. Feeling at one with nature. Go deeper and deeper into that meditation until you feel peace.
welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this meditation and it brought you some peace and relaxation. And it's a better way of using your cell phone than just checking your emails. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, this is something you can go to anytime. Uh, when you're feeling anxious or stressed, just go to some of these paintings that we've discussed and have a one minute meditation to a five minute meditation and you can do it anytime and anywhere. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope that you've enjoyed these meditations and not only that you'll be learning more about the artists we've discussed and you can get into their head and see what was going on in their minds and emotions as they painted these paintings and the energy of these paintings remains. They have an energetic value that is a communication, an energetic value that will communicate with you and the artist and you will feel a bonding with that artist and knowing that you can go to those paintings anytime for more, for more peace and a relief from stress and anxiety. See you next time. Till then, peace.